Welcome. Today we're going to talk about the, I gotta look this up because these numbers are weird, the Kensington SD5700T Thunderbolt 4 docking station, dual 4K, 90 watt PD, Windows Mac, yada yada yada. Because I got an M1 MacBook Air and I just felt like it wasn't being powered properly, wasn't being used properly with the Stay Go Hub. Um, which I really have liked, but uh, t a year and a half, two years on is seeming to flag in some ways, like it wouldn't pass power through to the Mac properly. And now that it's actually on my iPad still, it's not passing Ethernet at the same time as USB for the keyboard for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, let's talk about the Kensington SD 5700T Thunderbolt 4 dock. Okay, so this dock, let's bring it right up on the screen here for you. It's right here, and I like it. You can see from here, it's got, uh, oh, oh, this would be hard. Three uh, Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back. It's got power delivery, it's got ethernet, it's got three uh, Gen 3 USB-A or Gen 2 ports at 10 gigabytes on the front. It's got a power. She whines a little bit uh, if you don't turn it off. Uh, it's got computer in, it's got headphones, it's got, more power delivery, although it syncs my, my computer just fine, my computer's old, and it's got a UHS-2 uh, 4.0 card reader. So I like all those things. It's fast, it powers the computer well. I'm almost to the one cable lifestyle. I'm gonna say almost because what it doesn't do is take my Camlink 4K, which I'm looking at right now, it doesn't take that input. It pauses. It pauses on USB-C on the Thunderbolt 4 ports. If I go to Thunderbolt 4 and I actually did buy a micro or mini HDMI to like the best, basically the best cable I could get and it just didn't happen. It didn't work. Paused after 20 seconds. I tried it in like tons of configurations that just didn't work. And the extra lame thing is my Stego hub did this just fine. My Stego hub, which is cheaper and not Thunderbolt 3 or anything. It's just USB-C 3. So that sucks, but it does deliver on the ethernet. It does deliver on, right? It connects from uh, the back up into my hub, which I have, you know, not taped, but like Velcro to the back of my monitor, um, where it takes a hard drive, takes uh, my USB peripherals, takes my stream deck, takes like the unifying dongle for my Logitech mouse. That's good. It also does allow me to, so I've taken from my iPad and taken a Thunderbolt 3 cable, and that actually lets me go like this have my iPad Pro on here with my script. And this is just set up on my Visa arm beside me, but it lets me, you know, stream, wrong camera, stream the uh, the iPad into my device, no problem. And it powers the iPad at the same time, and it's just good, so I like that. And the other thing I like that it has, which is still coming, unfortunately, because it got misshipped once, is this. So this right here screws into it, and it's just basically a little Visa mount that I'll mount it on the side of my desk. Right now, it's just hanging out on top of my desk. It got misshipped once. I didn't get it. So I should get it, in theory, soon. And then I will actually have it mounted on the side of my desk instead of just hanging out there. So what do I think about this dock? Would I buy it again? I'm questionable whether I'd buy it again, but really only because it doesn't do the Camlink 4K. If it did the Camlink 4K, then I'd be totally in on it. When I've looked at other USB... For uh, options, there really aren't any. There's one from CalDigit, which is unavailable, and there's one from OWC, which is currently unavailable. So I can't get either of those, and neither of them have Ethernet. They all would require other dongles uh, going Thunderbolt 4, USB-C, to my Ethernet jack, like other dongles to go in. So it just wouldn't work, although in theory they're daisy-chainable, so I could like take that one and then put it into something else. And maybe the 4K would work, I don't know. At this point, I'm just gonna live with it. And I'm still living the two cable lifestyle. I have the Thunderbolt 4 cable, which has to be under three feet, uh, three feet and under to be a Thunderbolt 4 cable. I have that going into my M1 MacBook Air. And I have the cam link going into it as well, because I have to have two, which means I also can't have multiple really nice cameras. Like my overhead cam is still uh, an old, older Logitech C920, because that's what I got. Uh, it's not a bad camera, but not the best that I could have. So overall, do I recommend it? Maybe, with the caveat that if you're looking for a Cam Link 4K or a capture card to go in there, it's just not going to work as expected. If you don't do that, then otherwise it's really good. Reads cards fast, writes fast everything, hard drive speeds are great, power delivery totally fine on it. Those are all good. It's just the Cam Link that's a problem for me. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know what happened. Other ways to support the channel, become a patron. Patreon.com slash Curtis 
I sort of do patron stuff. Patrons get my courses for free for sure. Totally will do that. Get to that. Um, other ways you can support the channel are uh, take my courses on Skillshare. Uh, you can find the links that below. Or you can also join me on uh, Fridays, 1 p.m. Pacific, most Fridays, to actually you know have a discussion like this and get the questions which I see coming through, which I'm going to answer after. Have a good one.